when we sit with people and we discuss about things that matter, what we can actually do is to ask them a couple of questions. I have three questions here that I, I, you know, when I share this with leaders and I actually put them in also in, in that guide. If you have not downloaded a copy of this, so five strategies to retaining top talent, this is one of them. And so I put in there three questions, right? So first question is to ask people what frustrates them. Like, you know, in your day-to-day, you know, activity here and then being in the in the office here, like what are the things that really kind of, I will not say piss you off, but almost like, you know, what are the things that bother you, right? Things that we could work on, we can improve upon. And, and this is what we call to be demotivational factors, right? What are the things that if we will be able to, you know, take away, you'll be much more productive. They, they'll, it, mm-hmm. You know, it, you'll feel much better, right? The reason why we want to ask this question is that um, many times there are things that bother us, but we're not going to really, unless we really want to make a change and improve that thing, um, we're not going to take the time to to you know raise the question to the surface. Think about you having a bad experience as a client. If I have a bad experience as a client right now, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. depending on how bad it is or what it is, I don't even spend the time to write a bad review. I just move on. I you know I don't, I don't have the time to write a bad review, and I don't mm-hmm. like to do that. So if someone is bothered by something, they might not even take the time to um, you know bring that to your to your awareness. So you don't even know mm-hmm. unless mm-hmm. you kind of mm-hmm. ask. You know, so what is frustrating you, right? What are the things that if we will be working on, it, it will be much better for you, right? And, and these are the things that. Um, drive actions also and they are on people's minds so we want to know what frustrates them and then we also want to to talk about the future right we talk about one of the things that is generally valuable is career development and growth opportunities so after we have kind of figured out or or we have heard a little bit about what they frustrated by then we want to look at what are some of their dreams like when we are able to one of the best kind of exercise, visualization exercise that I take my clients through is say, okay, so Madalena, if we will be having one of these, let's say we are one-on-one, like if we will be sitting together again in this room in like in two years time, and we're going to have a a check-in again and discuss, you know, what would you love to tell me that has happened, right? So let's move fast forward, like 2024, Mm -hmm. you know, June 20th, right? And, and, And tell me what happened in the last two years, right? Because wow. that, yeah. that's another way that helps people to see themselves in the future. If I ask them, you know, what are your dreams? Well, they say, well, well I don't know. Or, or people might not see that they have a big dream that they uh, pursue, or they might not be comfortable to share that with you. But when you put them in a situation for them to imagine what would they like to happen in their life in two years' time, and now put that in past tense, like this is already happening, it's much mm-hmm. more powerful mm-hmm. and the mind can actually work with that compared to, you know, what are your dreams? But what we're looking for, we're looking yeah. to see where they want to go and what they, you know, what, what motivates them. That is a way powerful question.